AIM confiscated all my research when I was captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but they'll be well protected. Okay, there aren't a lot of ways into Meridian. I think our best bet will be to hijack one of their hyper-circuit trains and take it directly to the heart of the operation. I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. AIM will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. So we go in loud and smash the base up. Good. I prefer the direct approach. In all my time undercover inside AIM, I never could get the clearance to see Meridian. Well, Nat, you're about to get your chance. Uploading the coordinates to the hypercircuit station entrance. Let's move out. So, how many super secret research bases does AIM have? Too many. Meridian is a close important one, besides New York. You nervous about using Pym's particle tech on your suit? Hank's smart, but his Pym particles are unstable on their best day. If he can get it working, it might be just what we need, so... Let's say, hoping for a miracle. You know I can still hear you, right? Ah, oh, crap, Nat. We did it again. Sorry! Changing channels. the sound of that. We're running into some serious firewalls here. I need more time. On it. Just get us that train. Ready for you, but the whole place is on alert now. We'll deal. Choo choo! All aboard! Really, Tony?
Security clearance accepted, Dr. Belova. Please board at your leisure. Belova? One of my old aliases. Damn it! AIM has been spotted near the anthill. We need that particle sample ASAP. We may be out of time, Hank. Not yet. We're almost there. Let's get what we came for. There's Meridian. Holy crap, the AMBs have been busy. I'm picking up a pin particle signature deeper in the base. I'm updating your hunt. That's why I love you, Jarvis. Ah, uh, you guys are cute. We have a problem. It looks like AIM has traced my hack of their systems. I'm getting reports of alerts on the anthill perimeter. I need you to find that particle sample and get back here ASAP. Even if we do find it, I don't know if we can get back to you in time. Hold on, I think I have a way to get you back. Okay, I'm sending Theo, one of my operatives, through to your location. He'll teleport you and the particle sample back to the anthill. Teleport? Oh, this should be interesting. Please hurry before they reach us. Deliver the particle to Dr. Pym. What is this place? Hey, resistance guy. Care to fill us in? Uh, this is a safe house close to the anthill. Yeah, it doesn't seem safe to me. That's not good. Aim's machine will be through in a matter of minutes. Let's take it out.
Detecting a massive teleport signature. Ah, oh, damn it! Hank, evacuate the Ed Hill now. I don't think so. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Unbelievable! It worked. Congratulations, Dr. Pym. The Resistance has an impressive new weapon. It's sort of cute when they're small. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. Thanks for your help out there. I'll have the Pym particles you need transported to the Chimera. Thanks, Doc. I know you won't listen, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. I'll do my best. Here are the particles Dr. Pym promised. Good luck, Iron Man. Thanks. I'm, uh, gonna need it. So what exactly is this Starboost thing? Meet me in the tech lab, kid, and see for yourself. Good 
luck, Tony. Thanks, Nat. Every test I did before ended badly. But with this new miniaturized accelerator, I have a shot. That looks awesome. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. I may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. All systems are in the green, sir. But I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. Well, we can't wait any longer. Tony, I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one. Juice left in these repulsors. Hopefully, this place isn't crawling with guards. Okay, let's see what we got. Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Regenerative formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula, no more adaptoids. High fives all around.
covered in space dust. This place does not get a lot of foot traffic. Just a little hack through this next door without waking anybody up. Unauthorized life form detected. Oh, hey, you mean me. That didn't wake up the Robo Guards. Not sure anything will. Most of the power in this place is being diverted to that single room. Crashing through their airlock didn't wake up the robot guard dogs. They're here to keep something in, not out. Bingo. That's not ominous at all. your fall. Then why aren't you letting go? I just... We thought... I mean, I thought that... It's good to have you back, Captain. I'm so come confused. On. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares? What? The explosion. He was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod, and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. My god. You weren't kidding. Nope. <laughs> Wow, like riding a bike, I guess. It's down from here. You ready to jump? 
Tony. What's... what's happening? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> How long? Uh, well, five years. Which, by your standards, is just a power now. Starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See? You're already making jokes. Corny ones. But that's normal for you. Captain Rogers. What is this? Don't leave us just yet. Monica! Long time no see. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go! What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Hurry! Get it over! I'm trying! For a dead guy, you're really pushing. I'm gonna have to brute force this thing. Why didn't you start with that? out here. Grab the other side. Almost got it. Tony! We got company! No time for a fight. Let's move. is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. <sighs> well, since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? 
lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. This was your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now... I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rip the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. They had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? Ayde. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. <sighs> but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nat, I... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it! I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. 
I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. Commander Hill, AIM's been spreading their lies about the Resistance for way too long. It has to stop. It's time we replace their poisonous lies with the truth. But their satellite array is vast. As long as that network is in place, they'll control the narrative. Jarvis has identified several AIM satellite hubs that control their communications. I see what you're thinking. If we can take one out, their network would collapse. At least for a few hours. We'd be able to send messages to the entire Resistance. Temporarily. So we'll have to make every word we broadcast count. Well, we don't have any weapons strong enough to take out a satellite, so what's the play? The satellite is connected to Earth by a massive space elevator. That's how we'll get up there. First thing you'll have to do is acquire the launch code for this space elevator. That'll be risky. It'll be worth it, Hill. The resistance is still fragile. We need a way to organize our forces. Open lines of communications will be critical. I assume you know where to find a set of codes? Jarvis did some digging. 
A local AIM base commander has some, so we're gonna pay them a visit. Let's go get those launch codes. They never lose. Game time! This is gonna hurt. How are you doing? Good, fine. Okay, maybe a little nervous. I'm guessing the big one's the base commander. The one in the central area, yes. Let's get his attention.
codes now. Time for an elevator ride? Not quite. Commander. The elevator is controlled by a multi-point authentication system powered by three junction boxes. Jarvis will need control of them to fake the authentication to get you inside. Why can't it ever be easy? We got company. is now on full alert. You should expect heavy resistance at the transport center. Get access to the three junctions keeping the security system locked down so Jarvis can get inside. Aim's gonna try to kick him out, so you'll need to keep their forces at bay. Not all at once. The more junctions, the better. Keep at him. to get aim off those junctions. How's Jarvis doing, man? The ones and zeros he's spitting out seem promising, but we need to keep control of the junctions. Trying to lock out Jarvis. Our efforts cannot be in vain. Morning, sir. This is going to be a rather rocky ride. Oh. Everyone, hold on! Incredible. No telling what kind of defenses this satellite has. We get in, set the place to self-destruct, and then get the hell up. Clear? Crystal. Detecting multiple enemies coming online now. What's the plan? Fight our way to the central hub and overload their power systems. <laughs> Uh, 
Find the console to open the central hub's doors. AIM really likes redundancies, don't they? They do. You gotta take everything down or that satellite will stay up. Standing by, Cap. As soon as you take the satellite out, we'll send out a message as wide as possible. All right! Let's do this! Power overloading across the station. Yes! Delivered. Help me out here. Appreciate it. Jarvis, broadcast the message. Certainly, sir. This is Captain America. To anyone out there resisting the tyranny of AIM, to everyone who's scared or doesn't know where to turn, the Avengers are back, and we won't let you down again.
Fellow Americans, we're here where protesters have gathered in response to a nationwide threat to our freedom. This morning, the heads of all major military agencies were held under duress by AIM's new adaptoids. Panic erupted when many awoke to large AIM gunships hovering above our major cities. As the military begins to mobilize, a tense standoff has gripped the nation. Of course. That's my tech. That is my cloaking tech. Wait a minute. Something's happening. Sir, I'm receiving a distress call from a resistance sanctuary in New York. Ames trying to draw us out. If we rescue them, it'll look like we're attacking. Doesn't matter what it looks like. We see someone who needs help, and we help. So you do what you need to do. We're leaving at dawn. Hey, Cap. I got Pim to send us what he has on.